All right, Rebecca, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit, where you're from, what you're studying and stuff. Mm -hmm. So my name is Rebecca Johnson. I'm from Warsaw, New York, and I have a younger brother and a younger sister. My parents, they still live back there. My brother's currently serving a mission in Italy, and he comes home next month. So we're all really excited. And my grandma lives with us, and she is going to be 90 in June. All right, that's awesome. Okay, so now we're just going to ask you a couple of questions about your family, just kind of general things. Um, and we'll start with your dad. Um, and so the question is, what has your dad done to motivate you to kind of be the best person you can be? Oh, my dad is one of the most just energetic, full of life people. He always taught me to never put something off that you could do today until tomorrow. And he, he would set little goals. He, I can always remember him having a post-it note by his dinner place that I always sat on his right hand. And it would always have things that he wanted to get done. And I can remember growing up, he would always, we would sit down as a family and make plans for that year. So he always taught me how to have goals and, and just go after your dreams. Very cool. Okay. Now, moving on to your mom. Um, what has your mom done for you in your life that you wish that you could, like, tell her thank you for or could express to her? I have always felt my mom's love. I can remember the most important five words are this question. She would always, whenever she would give us a hug or, you know, just being with her, she would always ask, can you feel my love? And as I've gotten older, that really has taken on this new meaning for me. And I, I can say, honestly, I've always felt her love. All right. Yeah. All right. So now talking about your siblings, do you feel like you're close to your siblings? We, we have become so, so close as we've gotten older. Yeah. Cool. I love them. All right. And you said that you have a brother coming back from a mission. Yes. When's the next time you're going to see him? I, I'm not sure. I probably at Christmas time. It's like I said, I'm from New York and so it's expensive to fly out there. But I, you know, it's so funny how time and just that space can really help you grow a lot closer. It was funny. He emailed this week and said, you know, I'm going to be back east. But he said, I really look forward to our Saturday phone conversations. Mm -hmm. And that was something that started when he actually went to college. And he would call every Saturday night, and we would talk for like an hour, hour and a half, you know, however long. And my sister, she just started college. And it was hard because I was on my mission at the time when there were all those big things coming in, your, in her life. And um, they're just the most important people to me because I know that um, we're, we are an eternal family. And so those relationships are the most important. I believe that. Yeah. All right. And so who we have left is your grandma, Lillian. If you could describe your grandma, what she means to you in one sentence, what would you say? The most influential woman in my life. Most influential person in my life. That's cool. And she's turning 90, you said? Yeah, she That's is. That's awesome. That's awesome. And she's, she's, her health is kind of deteriorating, right? It, yeah. That has been really hard to see. But I think that it's been helping with the spring. She's been able to go outside and sit, and she's been doing a little a little bit of weeding and gardening. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So you felt your mom's love. You feel like your dad has motivated you. Mm -hmm. You, I, I personally know you're very close to Samantha. I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. um, and she's back home now, so that's nice. Frank is coming home, and your grandma lives with you. Yeah. So the family is almost complete. They're just They're missing good. one person, right? Yeah, that's, that's me. Uh, yeah. I don't know, other than finances that are not present at the time, what would you give to go home and be with those people? Anything. I would drop out of school, <laughs> which is don't tell my parents that they killed me. <laughs> I would hitchhike home. Don't worry, I think I would be able to do that safely. <laughs> Whatever it took to go see them. That's, uh, I... I never have really appreciated my family, and I was always doing a lot of other things, but I, I'm realizing now just how special our time is with them, with our families. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you say if I told you that I talked to a couple people, and we uh, put some funds together, and you yeah. have 
enough money to go home to see them. No. I, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> Just contacted a few people and they all want to see pictures of you with your whole family together and these people that you talk about all the time. So, here's that. <laughs> oh my gosh! No! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And some of the money's still in the mail. It's still on its way, but there's some IOUs that should be arriving like the next couple of days. Oh! But. My gosh, I. Oh my gosh! So you should probably get on making arrangements oh in your schedule because you're not no. going to be here. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to see my family. Oh, I'm going to get to see my brother. Oh my gosh, and my grandma. Oh my gosh! <laughs> couple of them I'd record your reactions. Did you oh want to say hi to... I love all of you so, so much. I... Oh my gosh, I will be contacting all of you actually <laughs> to say this, but um, this is just the nicest thing. Um, you guys are my family too, and I love you very, very much. Thanks. Thanks. Alright, signing off. <laughs> <laughs>